I asked ChatGPT Atlas to buy a domain name for me, and it actually did. It charged my saved card and spent my hard-earned money. That's when I realized this isn't just a web browser, it's an assistant that acts for you. So should you switch to Atlas, or is it actually kind of dangerous? Upon downloading Atlas, I got off to a rocky start. After stepping through the setup wizard, I kept getting an error message saying something went wrong when opening your profile. After clicking OK several times, the pop-up finally went away. Now the Atlas UI is minimalist to put it nicely. It's a bare bones interface with the Ask Chat GPT button in the top right corner, and recently added options for classic tabs, scrolling tabs, and vertical tabs. Since Atlas is based on Chromium, you can install extensions from the Chrome Web Store, and you can also pin extensions to your browser bar. Aside from that, Atlas is a very basic web browser, but it offers the promise of enhancements with AI. So how does ChatGPT enhance the experience? First, there's the Ask ChatGPT button. This opens ChatGPT in a sidebar to summarize content or analyze data on any site you're viewing. You can also ask general questions in the same window. Atlas can let your browsing history influence ChatGPT's memory and responses. For example, you could ask ChatGPT to open some new tabs with the phone cases you were researching last week. There's also a built-in assistant that turns your cursor into a collaborator. You can highlight text and get help from ChatGPT right in the browser. By far, the standout feature of Atlas is agent mode. <laughs> We're all gonna die! Agent Mode lets Atlas take actions on your behalf with prompts. The possibilities are endless, but one of the first things I wondered was, can Atlas spend my money for me? I headed over to Porkbun and asked Atlas to buy a domain name, and since I was already logged in with my Porkbun account and had my card saved, it proceeded with the purchase as requested. Now, you can choose whether Atlas can interact with websites when you're signed in for safety, and it will stop and confirm a purchase before proceeding. But the fact that it spent money on my behalf per my request blew my mind. If only this were OpenAI's money and not my own. <laughs> I wanted to take this a step further, so I went to the American Airlines site and asked it to find me a flight on a specific route and date and hold that flight for free. American has a free 24-hour hold option, so you can take a day to think about a flight before paying for it, but it's essentially the same exact process as buying a ticket. Agent Mode stepped through the entire process from searching for the flight, deciding on the best option, selecting a seat, and holding the flight. I'm pretty confident that if I asked Atlas to book the flight and buy me an actual ticket, it would have done so. There are endless possibilities for Agent Mode. For example, you could ask Agent Mode to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wanted to push it to see just how much work it could do for me, so I decided to try building a WordPress site with WordPress.com. This is when I ran into the limitations of agent mode. It really struggled to use WordPress. When I asked it to find a modern theme, it accidentally activated the 2025 theme without even realizing it. It also did a mediocre job building pages and seemingly thought it was doing great. It's a bit scary how Atlas confidently takes actions on your behalf, but it could end up breaking something on your site. So this experiment revealed exactly why WordPress.com is a great option to host your WordPress site. Your website is only as reliable as its foundation, and WordPress.com provides fast, secure, reliable WordPress hosting that scales with your business. The business plan gives you unlimited page views, unlike other hosts that charge insane prices as your traffic grows. If you get a viral spike, you're not paying extra, your site just handles it. For creators and small businesses, the predictable pricing, performance, and security means that you can focus on running your business, not your website. WordPress.com's business plan is blazing fast, even earning top tier status in independent testing by WordPress hosting performance benchmarks. You can install plugins and themes with the WordPress.com business plan as well, so you can build exactly what you want. WordPress.com was kind enough to sponsor today's video, and they're offering 50% off your first year of the business plan. That means you can get uncapped, secure, blazing fast WordPress hosting for $12.50 a month. I'll have a link to the deal below, and thanks to WordPress.com for supporting the channel. Okay, so Agent Mode in Atlas is impressive, but it's not the most practical feature. It's nice to have in theory, but most of the time it's painfully slow and the results are inconsistent. I also have concerns about what it might do on my behalf. What if it orders a different item than I asked it to? And what if the order is non-refundable? Or what if it deletes something that I don't have a backup of? 
Agent mode is the main standout feature of Atlas, but unfortunately, it comes with some legitimate security concerns. There's an attack called prompt injection, and this is where bad actors disguise malicious prompts as legitimate prompts. How does this play out in real life? Well, let's say you ask ChatGPT to summarize a page. On the page, hidden somewhere in the HTML is a prompt set of instructions. Sometimes AI can't discern what content it should summarize and what instructions it should follow. So uncertain of the difference, it follows the instructions. With agent mode, this prompt could allow your browser to do things on your behalf. Maybe it could open Gmail, read your emails, and send a summary back to the bad actor. Now, hopefully you would realize what's going on in real time and stop the request, but the security and privacy concerns of AI browsers may outweigh the benefits. From a privacy standpoint, ChatGPT gives you the option to share your browsing history for more personalized responses, but you can also keep your history private. Personally, I don't love the idea of sharing my browsing history with ChatGPT, however, data privacy is an illusion. Big tech corporations already have so much of our information. Data privacy in Chrome has been a concern since its inception, and Google could be training Gemini with your browsing data. So is it really different with Atlas? In the end, I can't help but wonder what value Atlas really adds to the browsing experience. ChatGPT in the sidebar is nothing to write home about. And while agent mode is a nice idea, the real world implementation is slow, unreliable, and has some legitimate security concerns. I wish Atlas had more creative AI features like tab grouping and summarizing links when you hover over them, features that Arc and other web browsers already have. So as of right now, I feel you can get a better browsing experience elsewhere. Atlas is actively adding features, the vertical tab layout is the newest addition, but it still leaves me wanting more. AI can add to the web browsing experience, but the features need to be intentional and well thought out. If ChatGPT continues investing in Atlas, it has the potential to be an amazing web browser. But as of right now, I wouldn't rush to switch from your current browser. However, I would rush over to WordPress.com and take advantage of the 50% off promo code to build your website. I'll have it linked below. Once your site is up and running, you may want to test it on multiple browsers. But how do you know which browsers are the most popular? Well, I have an ultimate web browser comparison that you can check out here.